Roberts. Yeah. Do you mind a comment? Go ahead. You know, I don't like any of this. Holly's no longer playing a game. This is very serious stuff. She's in deep water. I know. Well, then, for the record, I'd like to say that I think it's dangerous, and I also think it's wrong. I agree with you 100%. Let's get back to these uh, January crime figures, shall we? No. Uh, Cop there. Damn. But armed robbery is up 9%. Now, why is that? $500. Well, you certainly waited for the last minute. I know, and I'm very sorry, but I did tell you that I'd have a hard time raising so much money as it is. I had to borrow from friends. You won't be sorry. Waiting so long to pay doesn't mean that I'll lose out, does it? Fortunately for you, no. Oh, well, I'm certainly glad about that. You know, I'm so excited about this. I've hardly been sleeping. When will we be going to New York to audition for Gilbert? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, that's wonderful. Uh, what time? Well, I haven't worked out the specifics yet. You'll just have to be ready to go on a moment's notice. I understand. All 20 girls will be leaving from here by bus. 20 girls? But I thought Joubert needed 10 hopscotch girls for his new musical. Does that mean that I, I might be rejected? Really, Margaret, you worry too much. I can tell you right now you'll be a shoe-in. But 10 girls won't be. On the contrary. All the girls that I've trained and selected will have a part in the show. But how, if only ten are needed? Well, Raleigh's changed all of the choreography. He now needs 20 dancing girls. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> and we'll be leaving tomorrow, you said? Yes, I've chartered a bus, and I've decided to book you all into the Hotel Royale for two nights. No doubt you realize that's a deluxe hotel. Wouldn't that cost an awful lot of money? It's my treat. You girls have all worked so hard, I've decided to pay for all your hotel bills and, of course, to pay for your meals while you're there. That's marvelous. That, that's so generous of you. I, I never expected anything like that. Well, I'm delighted you're pleased. Look, now, if you'll excuse me, I have some phone calls to make. I want to be sure the accommodations are excellent, and I want to check on the chartered bus. Uh, what time did you say the bus would be leaving? I didn't say. What I told you was you have to be ready at a moment's notice. Now, go get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow may be your most important day of your life. Oh, I know that. One more thing. I'm in a hurry. What time should I call? Early. Tomorrow your great adventure is going to begin. Pleasant dreams. The big thing for Holly to do is to find out exactly how Hannibal intends to collect the rest of the cash. Okay, and, and then what happens? Well, once he has all the cash, he'll split. I mean, she's not going to be in any trouble up to then. I mean, when he's got the cash, when he's gone, she'll be siphoning out of it. Oh, wonderful. And he just leaves town with the dough. <laughs> Come on, Bert. You know, be better than that. So well, tell me something. Once I know Holly's safe, we take over. Oh, well, now you've told me something. Then we go in and we put the collar on. Right, a nice tight one. But however, that's just between you and I. As far as Holly's concerned, she's running the whole show. And we know Hannibal's plan. We move in. tasting it all night, unfortunately. Oh, but wait uh, till you're here. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting? I waited till the end of the day. Uh, it's, it's okay, love. It's all right. What happened? We're almost there. Hannibal took the money. Oh, he certainly did, but there's more. Tomorrow is D-Day. In what way? We leave for Manhattan. All ten girls? Uh, no. Now it's twenty. Twenty? Twenty? I mean, how did he explain that? Oh, very smoothly. According to him, Gilbert and I needs... 20 hopscotch girls for his new musical. And naturally, Hannibal is providing all of them. Well, how are you getting to New York? Uh, he's chartering a bus to take all of us girls to the Big Apple. Oh, and he's put a little icing on the cake. That's typical of a good con artist. Such as? Hannibal says that he personally will pay for the chartered bus. And because we're such star material, he's going to put us up at a fancy hotel called the Hotel Royale. <laughs> He's paying for that, too? He says he is. The best rooms, all of our meals, for 20 girls. All right. 
for Mrs. Barsley, poor Charles. Ah, that's where he got a little bit tricky. You wouldn't say when. What do you mean, though? How do you know when to meet? Well, we have to keep checking in with him tomorrow, and then he'll tell us what time. He's playing a cool right to the end. Yes. Well, I told you, he's a monster. I told you right from the very beginning. Obviously, some of the girls haven't paid yet, so he's going to let the rest of us sweat it out. And they were the instructions, that you just keep checking with him tomorrow? Yes, early, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, he can't stall forever. He's going to keep on putting pressure onto the other girls, and then away we go. A bust to nowhere. Exactly. As soon as he gets his last dime, he's going to skip town, and then I'm going to nail him. You know something? I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to really get that creep. I'm really going to get him. I'm going to nail him to the wall. Yeah, I've got all my best men on standby. Okay, that just leaves us with a few uh, logistics to deal with. Uh, sounds like we're pretty well covered. Yeah, just about. By the end of the day, the only people getting lessons will be Hannibal and Irving. A brief course in why crime doesn't pay. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, hello. Hello, Harley. How at it, are you? Well, we're just going over the Hannibal case. Yeah, reviewing a few facts. Such as? I've come up with a surefire way to nail both Hannibal and Irving. Oh, you have, have you? And what's that? Uh, well, there's no need to go into it all with you. I am part of this, I know remember? that. I know that, love. But the thing is that a lot of this is just uh, police work. And uh, what does the civilian get to do? We want you to nail both Hannibal and correction. We want you to set up both Hannibal and Irving. <clears throat> right, good. Uh, th what I'm going to do... Uh, and after that, well, police will move in and take over. Take over? It'll be over before you know it. Wait. Just tell me that. Well, look, 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 please. Look, my head's full of thoughts at the moment. I've got to work out a few things with Bert. As soon as I've done that, then I'll sit down and tell you exactly what I want you to do. All right? Mm -hmm. We may not have enough proof against them. All I'm saying is that we should consider that. Hannibal took my money for dancing lessons, promising me an audition for a Broadway show. Then he demanded another $500, saying Irving needed it to guarantee the audition. It's a scam, Robert. Harley, the problem is even with all the evidence we have, scam cases are always the hardest to prove. I'll testify against them. Your word against theirs. Is my word good enough? It's not enough. Why? But you got your dancing lessons, didn't you? Not all of them. Hannibal would say you did. Well, what about the bribe? We have no proof that you're not just another disgruntled customer out to get him. What about the other 19 girls they ripped off? They'll testify. I doubt it. Because they won't want to admit they were taken in the first place. 50% of them will be too embarrassed, and the other 50% will be too scared to testify. No, they want to band together to get handled. Look, I can't take the chance on building a case around 19 girls who may or may not decide to act. No, no, Look, I've thought this all the way through, Holly, and I've come up with what I consider to be a surefire way oh. to get Hannibal and Irving. You have? Or all alone? Well, actually what I need from them is a confession, preferably on tape. If I can do that, I've got him. Uh, can I do anything to help? Aren't you supposed to call up Hannibal to find out what time the bus leaves for New York? Yes, I do remember something like that. Yes. Right, why don't you sit down? You get the phone, please. Yeah. You sit down and uh, call him. You talk to Hannibal as soon as you've spoken to him. Well, then you talk to me. Well, that makes sense. Would you like to find out where the bus is leaving from as of well? Of course. And once that bus takes off, we'll arrange to have it stop. No, you'll jump into a cab and go straight back to the studio. That's when I get Hannibal to admit to the scam. That's when you'll buzz your buzzer. Why? Because the men I have staked out around the place will then move in. Just a minute, now, Rob. Look, it won't be easy to get uh, Hannibal to own up to this scam. Uh, but if you can't, don't uh, feel bad about it. I'm sure I can. I've made tougher customers than these two talk before, and I intend to get them. But as long as you're going to be there, I guess it's worth a try. Uh, that is the least of my worries. There's no reason to be concerned about your safety. Oh, that's not it either. Look, Holly, I'm sorry. There was no time to argue about this. I fully realize you're full of good suggestions and all, but I have all the bases covered. All right? So, could you please just make your call? 